This is a female great golden digger wasp, Sphex ichneumonius. And, as her name suggests, she's busy digging. Apparently, these wasps range from southern Canada throughout the US and Central America, the West Indies and Colombia, Brazil and Peru. Wherever there is sandy soil for their burrows and good habitat for their food species. Now, listen for a squeak. It's genuine, part of the natural recording. This individual is in West Monroe, Louisiana, USA. There are thought to be over a hundred thousand wasp species worldwide that form just a part of the order Hymenoptera. That also includes bees, ants, and sawflies. Their ancient lineage dates back to the Jurassic period, predating most flowering plants. And both the great variety of wasps and their specialization and interdependence with other species today makes them one of the most important elements of global biodiversity. To people, she is most valuable primarily in the role of pest control, because she preys upon pest species to feed her young. But as an adult, she feeds herself mainly upon nectar, and thus she also may assist in pollinating the flowers of which she feeds. By far the majority of wasp species are solitary, like this sphex. She mated with a male elsewhere, and has come here to dig a brood tunnel with side chambers in which to deposit one or more paralyzed insects, usually a form of orthopteran insect, such as a catedid, conehead or grasshopper, upon each of which she can lay a single egg that will hatch within two or three days, eat the insect, then pupate until the following summer when it will emerge, perhaps with surviving siblings, to repeat its parents' life adventure for itself. Active from May through August, when temperatures match or exceed 18 degrees centigrade, she may make several such tunnel complexes, and may stock each of her brood nests with as many as seven Orthopteran insects. She is strong for her size, and a fast and diligent worker. She's a very skillful digger, and though this looks rather difficult, the equivalent of shifting sand with chopsticks, in fact, she's got some very stiff hairs on her forelegs, and these help her shift the sand. This coming section was filmed at faster than normal speed to help avoid blur. Note how she uses her legs to spread out the sand. Those sharp spines on her hind tibia help her to transport her prey items. These can be flown or dragged to her brood burrows. She has found herself some prey. Now she will drag it down into her burrow. But first she will check to see if her burrow is ready. This seems to be pre-programmed behaviour.
Her egg is laid. Now she will fill in her burrow. Very carefully, she'll prepare the area so that it looks as if nothing ever happened here. She'll work to ensure that the site looked completely obscured. 